Zodwa Twala's journey to success is a lesson in perseverance, disciplined management and the value of ongoing education. She established her piggery, Prejone Farm, near Hamanskral outside Pretoria in 2011. In 2017, she was recognized by the Gauteng Department of Agriculture and Rural Development when she received its Best Female Entrepreneur Award. I started uh, with uh, nursing. I did nursing diploma, that is for three years, and then I went to University of Forte to do BA, HED, as well as honors in psychology. So I mingled around uh, between the two careers for 12 years. Uh, my aim was to raise funds so that I can start business in future. Actually, I grew up in a farm. Both my parents were farming, but then I didn't uh, realize my passion until I went through the two qualifications, nursing as well as teaching. And that is why um, my last option was to go to farming. I also trained. Uh, I've got different qualifications on, on agriculture now. I've got uh, 10 permanent workers. To be a pig farmer, you need to be hands-on, one and you need to monitor your work. You need to train them. They must know what is supposed to be done or not. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do those things, the loss or the investment is, is on you. The program for the day that I've got, in the morning when they are feeding, I start with them. We're starting at seven. I make sure that they are feeding the correct ration to the pigs. Otherwise, you'll be surprised you are buying feed and your pigs are becoming thinner and thinner. So it plays a major role and then I check them when they are cleaning. And then I go to the office to do some recording. We are very strict on record keeping because that's how I measure the efficiency of my farm. Zodwa is keen to see more experienced farmers offering internships to students, explaining that some agricultural students end up not graduating because they fail to find internship placement. This is one of her goals going forward. One thing that has made me to be interested in uh, having an academy, I was getting a lot of calls. People were seeking for information, how do I start a pigare? Where do I have to get, get funding? And that made me to have an interest of opening an academy. Like the people that have trained, one, um, I mentor them until they are independent. It is very much important to be mentored, especially if you are starting. You need to get somebody who will help you. Uh, hold your hand, go through the journey together. Zorwa says it's a challenge to establish oneself in a male-dominated environment. Being a female farmer is not easy. There are a lot of challenges. And remember, agriculture is a mainstream, it's a man's world. So you have to push uh, so that you get recognition. Uh, because otherwise uh, you will be pushed aside. And it has been some challenges, but yeah, anyone can pass through. And there were a lot of challenges in the past few years, like starting last year. Last year there was listeriosis disease that makes also uh, people to run away from the pork. To be honest, um, Pigari is very expensive to, to start it. So you need to have a, a lot of funding. That is why I said this field, you need to work hard. You need to think outside the box. Uh, most of the revenues that I'm generating is from outside uh, Pigari. And then I use it to expand uh, the, the Pigari farm. My biggest uh, victory as a female farmer was to increase the number of sows. Uh, I started with five sows, now I'm at 200 sows. So I can, I'm proud of myself on that side.
In 20 years time, I actually want uh, to see this farm in full operation, expanded to the south up to 500 units, um, the academy uh, being franchised in all the nine provinces. Nation in Conversation, in proud partnership with Senves, Bayer, Nedbank, Afgreen, Hinterland, and NWK.